Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify expressions with absolute value. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, we want to evaluate, we have four parts. The first part here, we're given the absolute value of x when x equals negative 35, and there's little different scenarios for each one down. We got to make sure we keep our negatives in place and understand absolute value to simplify these. So the first part, a, when x is negative 35. So what I'm going to do is take this negative 35 and substitute it in for x directly. So absolute value here, and instead of x, negative 35 comes in. From there, we just simplify what we know about absolute values, the distance from 0. Negative 35 is a distance of 35 on the number line to 0. So the absolute value of negative 35 equals a positive 35. Next one is a little more, well, difficult. Well, the absolute value here, they say of negative y. So I'm going to write everything except for the y. Absolute value of negative, give me a space here. Y, they tell us, is a negative 20. Plug that in for y. Be careful with your negatives here. Negative times a negative is a positive. So the absolute value now of a positive 20 is what it's equal to. And the distance from 20 to 0 is 20. So our answer here is 20. Next one. Let's rewrite this little expression here and leave a blank for the u. Negative on the outside, absolute value. u, leave the blank, finish the absolute value. u is equal to 12. So we put a 12 in where u is. The absolute value of 12 comes first in our order of operations. It's treated like a parenthesis. And 12, well, the distance of 12 from 0 is 12. So we have a negative here. Keep that 12. And they're done with the absolute value of it. We're taking it and the state to be 12. Negatives on the outside. So we have a negative 12 as our final answer here. Again, last one here. Write it out. Negative absolute value. Leave a space. Don't put a space, or put a, don't put P in yet, right? We're gonna put negative 14, that's in for P, negative 14. From there, keep on going. What is the absolute value of negative 14? Absolute value of negative 14 is a positive 14. So we have a negative space on the outside, in parentheses now, positive 14, right there. Simplify that, negative times a 14 is, well, a negative 14. And there we have it. We've evaluated four different examples here, given different values here, that helps us better understand the absolute value. Hope you learned something here on how to simplify expressions with absolute value. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.